Today's video has been sponsored by Shine Armor. All right, guys. So Shine Armor was nice enough to reach out, um, and they said that they wanted us to review some of their products. So today, they actually went ahead and sent us their graphene ceramic spray. Um, we're going to be testing it out. Basically, what it is, you spray it on, super easy, provides a protective coating over your car's paint, enhances the shine a little bit, um, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it through the test today. Um, so you're not going to want to miss that. Thank you guys over to Shine Armor again for sponsoring and sending us this product. Today, we're going to be spraying it on the Charger, actually, because that is my daily. That's the car that sees the most abuse, the most weather, and we're going to see um, just how well this stuff can protect the paint. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to get the charger in here, and we're going to get into it, guys. Let's go. All right, so we got the charger in the garage, and this is the car that we are going to be applying, the Shine Armor Graphene Ceramic Spray. Um, and I'll just show you guys the state of how dirty this car gets on like basically a daily basis, because I try to wash it once a week. Um, but yeah, you guys can see, look, you can even see me, what's going on? Um, <laughs> So let's focus here. There we go. So you can just see like this thing is caked in dirt and salt and everything. And usually I'd be doing this type of video outside, but it's so cold. It's like two degrees. Look, there's like frost on the car and everything. So obviously we got to wash the car. We got to clean it. Um, prep is like one of the most important things about this process. Um, Cause if you don't prep your car properly, then it's not, the, the product isn't going to do its job. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to wash this car. And basically the, uh, Look, this car is so big, I can't even get it all in frame here, but we are going to be conducting some experiments on here, and I'm going to spray one door with the ceramic spray. I'm going to leave one door not sprayed, and we're going to basically see the difference, um, and we're going to see, like, I guess the dirt difference once I just spray it off. We'll see how much this, uh, how much this ceramic spray will actually protect your paint. And then also we have another, like, kind of drip water test that we'll do on the hood, um, so stay tuned for that, guys. But I guess the first thing we got to do is uh, we got to clean this car. So um, with the magic of editing, it'll be done in three, two, one. All right. Now she's all clean. I know you guys like that. I wish washing her car was always that easy. But so the surface is prepped, right? Prepped. The, the proper way you'd probably want to do this is to completely clay bar your car and get completely all the grime and everything out of your paint. Um, and, and wax it, of course, and polish before you would apply this ceramic spray. Um, but the car was actually waxed um, a couple months ago, so the surface is pretty clean and should be good enough. But I just want to stress that, you know, ideally you would want to like clay bar your car first. But so now we have the car clean. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to demonstrate how to use the spray. Um, and then, like I said, I, I want to see, I really want to see how the, uh, how like salt and stuff is going to be protected from my car. Because if you live in a place where, it's cold and you get snow and ice on the road. You guys know that salt will just make your car look disgusting, especially a black car. That's why we're doing it on this one. Um, but I'm curious mostly to see how it's going to protect against that. But obviously it protects against all the elements because it's, you know, a ceramic coating. But let's go ahead and let's start to apply this stuff onto the car. All right. So when you order your Shine Armor spray, it basically comes with two microfibers as well. And this is basically like a two-step process. So you're gonna to wanna to use one microfiber to spray uh, with the spray, obviously, and then uh, apply it onto your door or whatever, your whole car, apply it onto your whole car. And then you're gonna let it sit, kind of let it haze. Um, and then you're gonna use the one that you didn't use to buff it out. So I'm gonna demonstrate that process of how to apply it. Super easy, super quick. And uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, step one, let's go ahead and let's spray the spray into your first microfiber towel. Of course, let's go ahead. Just spray it in, that's what it said. Oh, there's a little safety on it. I forgot, that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead, safety's off boys. Spray it on here and you wanna apply it to the whole, uh, your whole car, your whole section, whatever section you wanna do. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wipe it on here. Apply evenly and you can see the coating as you apply. Maybe you might not be able to see it fully on camera, um, but I can see it and I'll show you guys in a second. So just go ahead, apply to the whole car. I'm not sure exactly how much to use, um, but we're just gonna put in like an even amount and you can kind of tell how much you're putting on here. Go ahead, get you every uh, section of the car. And typically, like I said, I would be doing this outside, but it is literally freezing out. Oh, I keep hitting the safety. Yeah, it's like two degrees. Luckily, the garage is heated, so 
you know, that helps a lot. Yeah, I'm probably missing spots. I'm not a professional, just should, should clear that up now. All right, you guys get the idea, apply, and go in a uniform direction here. Just keep working it into the paint of your car. All right, and then after you do this, you're gonna wanna, uh, oh, I almost fell. All right, so like after you fully apply it, you're gonna wanna let it sit for one to two minutes, let it haze, and then buff it out with the other rag. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna wait that time, and we'll skip right to that part. I'm also gonna apply it to the hood while we wait, I guess, probably a good idea. Only half, so be right back. So just to keep record, um, I'm going to apply it to the right side of the car hood here, not the left, and then uh, for the hood, we'll do like water runoff test, and we'll see how much of an impact that makes. So yes, doing the right side of the hood now, while I wait for the one minute for that to dry over there. All right, so actually after the first like initial spray on camera that you guys saw, um, I kind of like looked back after and I missed some spots, so I went back and I redid it. Um, but so now the whole thing's covered. It's been one to two minutes and I can see it's kind of hazed over a little bit. Um, and now you take your second microfiber, the one that you haven't used yet, obviously, and you kind of just want to buff it out. Um, it's basically like a shine and you can honestly it feels like, it literally feels like there's a protective coating on it, which obviously like, I don't know if you guys have ever done this with your paint, but like you rub the back of your knuckle over your paint after you wax it, like, and it's really smooth. And that's what this feels like. It feels super smooth. I wish you guys could feel it with me, but uh, that's what it feels like. Just for reference, it's like a nice, freshly waxed car, you know, smooth feeling, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hand buff this out. And then um, basically after you do that, you gotta let it sit for or cure for three to four hours, it tells you on the bottle. Um, and then after it's cured, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna drive the car, hopefully get some good amount of salt on it and everything, and then we'll see how well this stuff actually works. Um, so yeah, I'll come back to you guys. Um, once I finish buffing this side out, I'll buff the hood, or buff, it's like a, kinda like a polish, basically. And then, yeah, we'll get it dirty and we'll see how she does. All right, guys, just like initial first impressions, you can literally see the side that I applied this polish on and the side that I didn't. And that's pretty impressive because I like these both are washed and they're both the same color. So just initial first impression of the Shine Armor uh, ceramic spray. Look at that. You can literally see right where I stopped wiping. It's actually almost a perfect line. Look at me. But yeah, look at that. I don't know if that can come up on camera as well. It is in person, but sprayed side, not sprayed side. Wow. Just like initial first impressions. I can't wait to get this on like all the cars, like the vets, the blue vet. But yeah, look, this looks great. All right, so I've let the ceramic spray uh, settle for a few hours. And let's go ahead. Let's do the uh, the drip water test first just to see if there's any difference. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. We'll, we'll, we can pour some water here on the, uh, on the not ceramic coated side. You can see it's kind of puddling. It still runs out a little bit. Yeah, so... That is the non-coated side. All right, now let's see if there's a difference on the coated side. Oh yeah, look, you can see it just like pretty much drain all off. And this is actually a pretty flat hood too, so that's pretty impressive, honestly. Look at the difference. This is the difference. Look, it's almost pretty much all drained off. It's all gonna drain off, wow. I was actually not expecting that. Wow, well done, Shine Armor. That's a, wow, that actually was pretty sick. Look at the difference, guys. I mean, look, the results speak for themselves. I don't even need to say anything, but wow. That was, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually surprised that worked as well as it did, to be honest. I mean, I'm not surprised because I know Shine Armor makes a great product, guys. Make sure to go ahead, check it out. Um, buy yourself some because I mean that that's great. I mean that just shows you basically like the 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 little protectability that it gives, right? I mean that's beating right off. And I'm sure if I wiped it clean, it also you know protects against water marks. Um, you know just protects the whole paint against everything, right? So that's impressive. Wow, I was not expecting that. So I just did the side door and I realized I didn't press record, but watch this, guys. Like literally, look. If I just pour it all on, that's the door that we didn't do, obviously right? We just let it sit. I mean, it's sticking on there. You can see the water pretty good. Like the whole thing is wet. I tried to drive the car around. It didn't get too dirty or like noticeably dirty enough, 
to like fully do like the actual protection. But look, see the water's still on there. And this is the side with, you know, the shine armor. Look at that. It's right off. Like that's actually, that is super impressive, guys. Look, beads right off. Wow, 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 wow. I was not expecting it to work. What's up? I was not expecting it to work this well. Wow, look at that. And that, see, look, it's still on this door. The whole door is still full. That is wild. I truly did not expect. Look, even over here, look, it's still puddled, guys. Like, that is wild. Here, let's just, like, put it both on just to see. Go all the way across. Look at the difference. That is crazy. Shine armor, you know what? Hats off to you guys. Well done. You guys really know what you're doing. Great product, guys. Go ahead. Hit up Shine Armor and, uh, yo, go buy their product. Look at that. Even, like, the shine, too. Like, you guys can even see the dividing line. Shine Armor, no Shine Armor. And imagine if, like, I genuinely, like, prepped this surface, too, like, properly with a clay bar and everything. Like, this was just, you know, took me, what, a couple minutes? You guys saw me do it live. So just one more little close-up, guys. This is it, the product that I used in today's video, the Graphene Ceramic Spray Mixture to hit up Shine Armor. There'll be a link in the description. Go ahead and pick yourself up some because this stuff is great. All right, guys. So really quickly before this video ends, I would just like to say, give a massive thank you to Shine Armor again for being the first like partnership of the YouTube channel. You know, I had a good time making this video and, you know, Shine Armor makes a really great product. Like, it, it speaks for itself. I don't even have to say anything based on the results, but um, yeah, guys, make sure to go ahead and check out Shine Armor. They have a ton of other amazing products as well, um, and you know this is just one of them. So they really know what they're doing. They got their stuff together, um, and yeah, thanks again, Shine Armor, for giving me this opportunity. Um, I wish that I didn't have to film it inside of like this garage. I know it's messy, but if it was a little nicer outside, you know, the video would have looked a little better, but um, I still had a good time and still a great product, and um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We got more stuff coming in the future uh, for automotive content. So yeah, stick around. And uh, if you'll excuse me now, I got to go ahead and uh, apply this to all of the rest of the cars. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out, y'all.